All right. Welcome to my biggest Super Mario Odyssey video ever. Wow. This is is my top 15 favorite kingdoms. Oh, you know to be so hyperactive. It turns out that there's exactly 15 kingdoms. Wouldn't you know it? it of course, not counting the dark and darker side. Right, as those, uh, those are, con are, are, are technically part of the Moon Kingdom. They're just two part uh, uh, of the Moon Kingdom, yeah. too. Yeah. So, uh, oh yeah. yeah. Let's get started off. Number 15. Every list has to have a low. Every list that includes all things of every category has to have a low point. And this and one. And this is the low point. And the Cloud Kingdom. Yeah, I... Gee, I wonder how many moons the Cloud Kingdom has. Nine. N n n I think it's nine or ten. But... All I know, there's not even 15 moons in the Cloud and Kingdom. And it's kind of boring, isn't it? It's a boring, too. In the main story, this is where you have a, 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 a your first, first, first so, encounter with ba first fight with Bowser. After that, there's a mini game. Yay! Where you try to recreate a picture of a Goomba. Alex, Alex did that. Did terribly. To be more accurate. 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 Oh, accurate. Yes, that's a word. I don't know. <sighs> Basically. Oh sweet Jesus! This place the Cloud Kingdom is a bore. <laughs> Outside of the Bowser fight, this kingdom might as well not even exist. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even have a creative aesthetic. It's just clouds. It's just entirely made of clouds. That's it. It's clouds. What you expecting it's something clouds. more? You were expecting something more? No. Well, sorry, mate. Don't know much to tell you. Wow. Anyways. I got... Right, no. All right, number 14. Still not into the kingdoms I have much good to say about. At least with this one, there's stuff to do. It? Number 14 is the Moon Kingdom. <laughs> um, the Moon Kingdom is probably the most eerily barren kingdom in the game. <laughs> in my opinion. I don't personally <laughs> find it that fun. Now, I do like space travel, but the Moon Kingdom is just a little too realistically barren. Yeah, funny how uh, uh, the lyric it, it, it is to jump up Superstar mention it. It, it. Even though when you get there, there's not much to do aside from go to Bowser. And hey, at least the post game gives you two extra... Yeah, and at, least there's, er, at least there's a ton of moons to collect here. I mean, what kind of weird paradox is that? You're collecting moons on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Only now I realize how strange that is. Yeah. So yeah. Was after the, uh, 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 the Moon Kingdom. Also, the Moon Kingdom, the, uh, uh, um, you have this funky gravity effect. I thought that was worth mentioning. So. <laughs> Yeah. Basically, funky moon gravity. Yay. Anyways. Other than that, there's not much to talk about uh, for this one. Mm -mm. I guess the Brutals are from this place. Yay. Anyways. Number 13 is the Lake Kingdom. The Lake Kingdom is the first underwater kingdom. And... It's not and, bad. Yeah. The Lake Kingdom, um, well, it may, may, may not have enough to do to keep my intro as tell for too long. It's certainly not on a barren wasteland like the Moon Kingdom or Cloud Kingdom. <laughs> um, there's actual NPCs, or side quests, 
That's, uh, that's the cheap cheap's really fun on the control. Huh? Oh, heck. Heck, that was almost on my top ten and captures left. See <laughs> If I would have put the snow cheap cheap instead of like it's designed more. Or even though they control exactly the same. So yeah. Basically <laughs> the obligatory water level is obligatory. So that's all you need to know about this game. <laughs> Again, I'm not saying it's bad in the slightest. I love this kingdom. I love all kingdoms in the game. Except for the Cloud Kingdom. Yeah. Sorry, Cloud Kingdom. You suck. There's not enough of you to love. Anyways. <laughs> Number 12 is the Metro Kingdom. Oh, how could you put the Metro Kingdom so low on the list? It's, I already hear you typing in the comments. It's all Japan right? The Metro King, the Metro, the it's Metro King, the Pandering Incarnate. Um, um, aside from nostalgia pandering, which I can't really crash in on since I'm uh, since I'm from the early 2000s, boy, I don't know nothing about Donkey Kong. No, it does. No, I do, but I didn't grow up with it. Yeah, but still, <laughs> <laughs> well, it does have its merit. It said it is rather uh, 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 creative and it fun is to play. It's fucking through. huge. <laughs> Hmm. It's just slightly too. There's just slightly too many nooks and crannies in my face. And also, I have a, a, have a very bitter experience with getting the last few regional coins in this kingdom. That probably has something to do with why I'm so low on the list. Yeah. If you're wondering, there were some regional coins behind I, I, I'm a bit uh, on top of a building and behind I I I I'm the I'm the I'm the section of it, and I saw them, jumped for them, just kept on my jump, ended up turning around to look for them, and you didn't know where they were, and I, and I couldn't figure out what building they were on, and I spent and a half an hour or, or, or finding the building again. If the if the buildings were differentiated a little better, or, or that wouldn't have been as bad. But yeah. They're kind of just there. <laughs> I certainly can see the appeal to the Metro Kingdom, however. Or so I don't think I hate this king I hate or crack even dislike this kingdom. It's as amazing and unique as all the other kingdoms in the game. Come on. <laughs> and I think it's an absolute blast. Yeah, it's just a little too big. It's just a little too nerve-wrackingly big for my tastes. You see that? Yeah. My OCD he tortures me there, causes me he, he to search every nook and cranny, and it takes forever to get anything done. I'm, I'm, I'm because of it. So yeah. Long story short, the Metro Kingdom stresses me out. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, number eleven, the other water level in, in the game, the Seaside Kingdom. Where everyone put their shit in, 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 in that in, in that direct. Mario has nipples! Oh my God! Whoa, jeez. <laughs> well, that's basically what they were saying. So yeah, everyone's freaking out because Mario had nipples. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, well, well, hey, tell them, tell them about the Seaside Kingdom. As for the Seaside Kingdom itself, it, 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 it's, it's got, it, uh, one it's got, it's got, enemies. Has one of my favorite enemies. He's the Gushin. Uh -huh. A total sunshine reference. Uh, and, and it's flat out, and this area is, is a huge reference to sunshine. Which is very confusing because there's, you see Delfino Plaza on the map. <laughs> Maybe the... Mm -mm. The extra... Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't going to say a uh, uh, sunshine DLC. Maybe the... Uh, 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 maybe the Piantas or the Bavlanians evolved from the same common ancestor. Or maybe they just ha uh, 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 they're, they're just an intermingling culture that took a lot of stuff from each other. 
，嗯，是呀，哎呀，不啊，嗯，哎，嗯 ，anyways。What I do have to say is that this kingdom, um, I'm certain, is one of the more vast kingdoms in the game. Hmm. It's not like vert. It's not very vertical inclined, so you can easily zip across uh, off the map, up, allowing for you to get from place to place without even needing to warp if you don't want to. Hmm. You can just.、Uh, A zip on over to the near. <laughs> There's no、uh, stair. You can just zip. All, you can just grab a gush and zip across the map in seconds. Remember to get, go for the red ring because because then you can kill some enemies. Anyway. Anyways. <laughs> ah. The Sisa Kingdom. I don't really know what to say about it. That's、yeah. the thing. I have a hard time explaining this one. Am I? Am on this one? <laughs> I guess I didn't. I, I I didn't think it was a blast to play through, but ooh, and I didn't think it was <laughs> was a bore or tedious or anything. I guess unlike the previous four, where I had, had a bit of a nitpick with, yeah, this one's just. I don't have strong feelings for it in, 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 in any way. Anyways, let's get into the top ten. Now, my number ten pick is the Ruined Kingdom. Now, I, I, I'll, I'll, of course, this kingdom's size leaves a lot to be desired, but I mainly like it for the or, or the intensive war. Well, let's go、ah! for the intensive war、mm. or, or, or in the kingdom. Why was it destroyed? Who destroyed it? Was it the dragon? Was the dragon blamed on it? it, it nobody knows. Oh, well, <laughs> my personal hope is that there's DLC expanding on this kingdom. At least the ruined kingdom. This one will leave so many mysteries unsolved. <laughs> And、quite frankly, I am ridiculous.、Uh, I I have a ridiculous need le- le- to know more about this place. <laughs> History of crumbled in book book when. <laughs> Anyways, number nine is the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah. So a post-game area that's once again more nostalgia pandering. This one has a lot more to do in it. it has is a lot less as as, as stressful than Mushroom in the Metro Kingdom.、Oh. And plus, there's a lot a more creep. It's plus I just personally enjoy this place. I find this place more or, or fun to play through. <laughs> Ooh, I love the, the, the landscapes. It's, it's easy to go. It, it, you, you grab coins here. Yeah, you get the. It's full of sixty-four references. It's hell, even and Yoshi's it, here, even、uh, down to a costume. And down to a sixty-four skin, and you can and, and capture Yoshi, which is probably one of the coolest things ever. Yeah, and instead of out of moons. And it's an amazing. Dang, I should put Yoshi on my captures list. I know. <laughs> yeah. So. Anyways, number eight. So, anyways, number eight is the Cascade Kingdom, the second kingdom you visit in the game. Okay, and and the more and and definitely more expansive than the Cat Kingdom. 
do I like it as much as the Cap Kingdom? Well, as you can tell by its placement on the list, and I haven't included the Cap Kingdom yet, no. But, <laughs> I still do really love the Cascade Kingdom. Um, um, first off, this kingdom is extremely aesthetically pleasing. And, and with the presence of waterfalls, of colorful enemies, including a T-Rex, and also doesn't fit in, in with Mario, and the present, <laughs> and, and the fact that, the, that it's easy to go 100% this area. So yeah. You know what uh, uh, I mean. <laughs> Number seven. The Cat Kingdom! The Cat Kingdom is the home of the Bonneters. If I said she's happy, he is a Bonneter, after all. So. The Bonneter Prince. The Prince of Bonneters, presumably. Hey, how else would you explain why I, I, I and Tiara look so different and stylized as the other of, of the Bonneters? There's no royalty, obviously. So, yeah. Now, that's kind of a given. I guess. <laughs> Anyways. Not much to say, other than the cap team is super aesthetically pleasing. And, and, and I love the architecture. The architecture. Or the bonus area, there's, there's the citizens. I just love this place. You know, I, oh man, I'm bad at explaining things. Guess I'll just move on. Next up is the Snow Kingdom. The Snow King, yeah, n at number six. Number six is the Snow Kingdom. The Snow Kingdom is the is a kingdom full of snow. Gee, I wonder what gave that one away. <laughs> Anyways, the Snow Kingdom huh, is one of the smaller kingdoms, so it's a bit of a breather. Does that mean it's a slouch? Ouch with nothing to do? Of course not! The Snow Kingdom is so much fun! Uh -uh. It is a blast to play through. <laughs> when I, I, I personally love, of the, of the races. Those are, are are awesome. There's just so much I love about this kingdom, and that I can't really put it all into words. So yeah. So to sum it up, the Snow Kingdom uh, um, is not I, the the this this ice is nice. Yeah. Hey, hey. It's a pretty cool kingdom. Um, hmm. I bet you probably want me to cool it with all these these puns. <laughs> um, snow way. Yeah, please. Anyways. <laughs> Number five is the Wooden Kingdom. Oh, man. This kingdom has some of the best music in the game. And no exaggeration, I could listen to this theme all day. It's that catchy. And it's not the one you're hearing right now. <laughs> Ironically enough, that one's from the Moon Kingdom. <laughs> so yes, I'm playing some, uh, music from one of my least favorite kingdoms right now. <laughs> Man, what kind of strange irony is that? <laughs> Whatever. Or, I, I, st I think... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, 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 okay. The Wooded Kingdom is filled with mechan is a mix of me mechanisms, as an old military machines, 
things and plant them. I, 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 well, I, I said different. <laughs> I said nature. It's, it's a crazy uh, idea to mix. But, uh, 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 but it works. Oh. Yeah, so anyways. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. And the steam guarders are, uh, wor 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 robots. Rusty robots. And they're the inhabitants of the, uh, of the wood kingdom. Yeah, yeah. Anyways. Number four is the sand kingdom. Tostarena. 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 Tostarena is, okay, the sand kingdom. Is number four. Number four, yeah, number four. Thank you. <laughs> um, this is, believe it or not, the third kingdom you visit in the game. Second, if you don't count the cat kingdom. It is so great. Okay, dude. Come here. So, yeah. Sand Kingdom is filled with an empty space. So what makes, so what makes this more spe so special? So well, let's just say, hey, hey, there, there, there's a lot more to do in this empty space. Sounds confusing, doesn't it? Well, that's what Jaxie's for. If you ride Jaxie, you can get around the desert super fast. See, in this kingdom, they knew that it, uh, there was a lot of open space and that people would want to fast travel. Oh. <laughs> people would, defi uh, would definitely want to on a fast travel through it. So with Jaxie, you get so much uh, uh, up speed. Honestly, it is straight up blood pumping. <laughs> Jackson's one of the major reasons it was like one of the sand king to so much. Not to mention that amazing music. Like the, 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 the awesome boss fight with Knuckle Tech. And, and, and just, oh, I love this kingdom. Also, did I mention that the locals are absolutely adorable? Yeah, you did that. Not a, a, a video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, number three. Oh man, we're on the big three. What kingdom ends up in the top three? Oh, what? You thought I lost this one? Well, uh, the lost kingdom. We have at number three, the lost kingdom. <laughs> the lost kingdom uh, uh, was one of the smaller kingdoms in the game. So you'd think there's not much to do. Well, in that case, you'd be wrong. There is a ton of stuff back to, up to this area. Everywhere you look, there's something new. Regional coins, <laughs> coins, moon, moons. And everywhere you look, you get to use the Tropical Wiggler. Or if you have access to so many different things, it's unbelievable. Oh, I love this place. <laughs> It's a tropical rainforest, you glide with glide on, and, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Also, Cappy gets captured by Cockdor. You know, that's, that, 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 that's the 3D world enemy. Yeah. 3D land enemy, the, you know, the yeah, birds that find their beats down. That's, yeah. you know, I'm thinking of, uh, uh, Klepto, Klepto! Yeah, Klepto. Yeah, Klepto from Super Mario 64. Alright, so... <laughs> so, Klepto steals your, your hat. This is the first time Klepto was kidnapping a sentient being. What is wrong with you, Klepto? Yeah, I thought <laughs> stealing your hat was bad enough. But now he's kidnapping a sentient being. 
Well, fuck you, Klecto. You're bad. Oh, you can't. <laughs> Anyways. I really think uh, the, the, the Lost Kingdom is just... It's good. You can't see it, but I'm doing the okay size. It's good. Anyways. <laughs> Number two! Now there's two kingdoms left! Two! Not two. Both of them are right next to each other, if you don't count the Ruined Kingdom. But which one gets number one, and which one gets number two? Uh, number two. Number two is Bowser's Kingdom. Yeah. Bowser's Kingdom is amazing. Bowser. This place is so aesthetically pleasing, and that it's, that it's probably illegal in some country, and, it's very <laughs> and it is a lot of fun to play through. Eww. Have you tried capturing a Pokeo before? Okay, we get it. You like Pokeos. <laughs> I have. It's a blast. <laughs> Some would say it's quite the shot of adrenaline. Anyways, 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 aside from Pokeo, you can capture other things here too. You can capture Goombas. You can ca uh, capture. Uh, what else? You can capture. Oh, oh Akatu! And. I can't really think of any more off the top of my head. But yeah, you can capture things. Like, like in every other country. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get a point. There's a lot of cool captures in this one. And... And... And it's... Such a painstakingly accurate Middle Eastern thing. Yeah. You know? You know? Man! I just... I just love it. This kingdom is good. Okay, dude, number one. Alright. But, what's my favorite kingdom? My favorite kingdom in the game is, as it may come to a surprise to all of you, or probably not, the Luncheon Kingdom, baby. The Luncheon Kingdom is the kingdom I have been so hyped for since pre-release, and it did not disappoint. <laughs> this lava, <laughs> a world, <laughs> world food themed level hybrid, it is um, is absolutely mouthwatering. Yeah, but no, you like food. Call me e e e you're an obsessive gourmet, eh, or something. I don't care. I honestly don't care. I just straight up love the Luncheon Kingdom. Both delicious and fun to play through. <laughs> you know? I absolutely... I could not uh, get enough uh, of, 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 of capturing in Hammer Bros, Fire Bros, and Potaboos. Not to mention you can use, actually you can use the little bottoms as, uh, as flickers. <laughs> well, pools. Like, like the pools in the Metro Kingdom. Um, you can flick yourself. It's awesome! <laughs> it's really all, 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 how, all the only way I can describe that. But, but it's a volcano food level. How can you not? And like, okay. And the boss is is is, is, is weird and adorable, and and it's really difficult too. You know what? I love it. Also, it is so satisfying to plunk into the lava uh, 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 as a potaboo. And bumping into the, 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 the like the little dumplings and chunks of meat. Ah, I just love this kingdom. Uh, 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 uh. The only bad thing I have to say about it is that I get really hungry playing it. <laughs> and that's probably a given. Oh, also, it's super fun to kick cans and beans into the stew pot. Ah, I love it. Okay, there we go. Anyway, 
<laughs> this basically became a a a a a a a detail a look at why I love the Luncheon Kingdom. That's not what this video is supposed to be, I swear. Anyways, and I am am I Ray? <laughs> and as you all know. Oh. I love you all very much, my beautiful, wonderful, amazing viewers. There's adios, au revoir, hasta luego, oh, aloha, uh, uh, goodbye, farewell, and most importantly, bonjour.